This is part 28 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to configure a default route in Angular. This is continuation to part 27, so please watch part 27 before proceeding. We will continue to work with the same example that we worked with in part 27. At the moment, look at the route here. We are at slash home. So the partial template home.html is injected into our layout template, which is index.html. Similarly, if we navigate to slash students, then students.html is injected into the layout view. Now, let's see what's going to happen if we navigate to the root of the site. At the moment, if you look at our script.js file, and if you look at this config function, these are the three routes that we have configured, slash home, slash courses, and slash students. Now let's see what's going to happen when we navigate to the root of the site. So let's get rid of the slash students from here. So at the moment, we are on the root of the site. So when I hit enter, look at what happened. None of the partial templates is injected into the layout view. We have the same problem even if we try to navigate to a route that is not configured. Let's say, for example, I try to navigate to route slash abc. And if you look at our script.js file, we don't have slash abc route configured here. So when I hit enter, look at that, we have the same problem. No partial template is injected into this layout template. And the reason Angular is doing that is because it doesn't know for the root of the site or for this route slash ABC, which is not configured, what partial template to inject into this layout template. Now, what we want to do here is whenever any user navigates to the root of the site or if they navigate to a route that is not configured, then we want Angular to automatically route that request to slash home, meaning we want home.html to be injected into our layout view. So we have to configure the default route. To configure the default route, we are going to use another function of this dollar route provider service, which is otherwise function. So we have these when functions chained. So at the end here, I'm going to use another function, and that is dot otherwise. And then here, we specify redirect to and the route that we want to redirect to. So we want to redirect to slash home. So if the requested route is not slash home or slash courses or slash students, then redirect the user to slash home. So let's save these changes. And let's go to the home page and you know, reload our page. And then, look at this, when I now navigate to the root of the site, look at that, it automatically redirected us to slash home. Similarly, if I try to navigate to XYZ, look at that, it automatically redirects to our default route, which is slash home. On the other hand, if I try to go to courses, look at that, it allows us to go to slash courses. So in this case, it has injected courses.html into our layout view. So that's how we configure the default route in Angular. Thank you for listening and have a great day.